the universe has a really funny way of letting us know what we need to do. And it's by almost giving us things that we resist. Right? When you resist something, you, you kind of know that that's basically the only thing that you should be doing, or the only thing you should be working towards. Right? And the more you do the thing that you resist, the more you grow. It's as simple as that. And I really want you to think about something that you're resisting. For me, it was there's certain people that I wanted to connect with, and I was kind of resistant to doing it. And then when I started to connect with them, reaching out and being with them more, and you know, I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm growing so much. So, <laughs> simple answer is, man, have the courage to do what you're resisting. And it's not pleasant for the ego, man. I know it's it's not, but only on only beforehand, only in the thinking before. Once you start to do it, there's a massive relief, massive weight off your shoulders. Ah, oh, thank God. If I can finally start doing what I need to be doing. And the thing is, man, the resistance, that feeling, doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. You have to face it. You have to face it. Face it. It will take you probably a good number of, I'd say months, before you get over your self-deception. I know, it's, it's, dude, it's taken me like three, six, nine months at sometimes to get over myself on something that I know I need to do. At some point, you, you just end up doing it. You just end up doing the thing. And you do think to yourself, why did I wait for so long? You know, what I've learned recently, man, is this. Instead of waiting, be creating. And I, I get, people say a lot of shit. People say stuff. When I say something, it comes from a place of experience. I, I only like to share insights that, I've, that I'm like having or have had. And so what I mean by this particular, in particular is literally, instead of waiting and doing nothing and being stagnant and being idle, create something that you want to create and do that by facing the thing that you resist. If you face the thing you resist, you will feel an immense amount of creativity and energy because you're like, wow, I've been inspired because I've faced my fear. It's just not fulfilling to stay in that state of resistance. You know you're kind of lying to yourself by staying in it. And what you know you need to do is you just need to face the resistance. And it doesn't have to be like you throw yourself at it. I'm doing that these days because that's where I'm at. But you can just expose yourself to a little bit of truth, and a little bit, a little bit of reality. And as you do, man, you'll, you'll let in that amount of growth. So start small. But then, you know, if you, wanna, if you wanna do this work properly, man, start throwing yourself at things. Start, you know, finding the things that you're resisting and just rock up and do it. And man, oh man, you will, you will, because you know, when you do that, here's the thing to think about. Who do you become in that moment? Notice that something comes through you when you put yourself in a difficult position. When you put yourself outside of your comfort zone, something within you comes through. And that's not your fearful, resistant, you know, self. It's something more magical. I would suggest personally, man, it's your higher self, right? By that I mean yourself with a capital S, meaning your absolute true self, with presence and with higher focus and higher attention, that's who's coming through, man. Anytime I do anything difficult, I just show up with more attention and more focus because, you know, it's demanded of you to do that. Personal development is really spiritual work. The more, you, the more you do spiritual work, the more the personal development work is recontextualized as spiritual work in disguise. The, the material things that you're doing, they're really spiritual things. But if that doesn't land, that's all good. All you've got to start doing is you've got to start facing what you resist. You know you've got to do it. That's enough because your conscience will, you know, it will stay with you and it will, it will make you do things, man. And that's what this work is about. It's about facing reality. It's about facing truth. It's about facing ourselves. All right, man, that's going to be it for me. If you are interested in, in taking this to the next level, I do offer coaching. If you're interested in that, feel free to check out the link in the description. Otherwise, my friend, take care and peace.